Yes, this is NG once again, plumbing technician. So, you're looking at now this Klein tool product. Ah, let me just get this along in my seat. Whew, hey, good quick. Right. So, look what I have here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. So, before we get into it and really find out what this is, let me just take a look. Yes, it's a tool in a package. Yeah. Right. So, let's get into it. This is a dual laser infrared thermometer. Now, you will ask now what a tradesman want to do with a thermometer. He's not a doctor. He's not a cook or a baker. And he's not going to check some sort of volcano reacting. So, in the line of the work that I do, we come across certain equipments and parts that need testing and the average um, thermometer or tester will not work so on the cheap side instead of buying those million dollar equipment to test we use the simple ones that we could afford actually talking about myself right so I saw this some time ago and due to I'm, I'm an individual that deals with a lot of hot water, repairing heaters and deal with pumps and sometimes I do some electrical because I also know electrical. I need to test breakers, um, sometimes wires, um, pump motors and other stuff. Sometimes the water heater, you need to check the water heater because we want to go and set a water heater and just turn up the dial and we don't know what type of heat the client or the person, the household are getting and we just leave and when they put on the heater now, they get scorched or they find when they turn it on max, it's a little too hot or maybe it's a little too cool. Sometimes you go and you recognize that the heater, they complain that the heater not heating up. And sometimes it's some other issue, some, like um, recently I went by an individual and they said that the hot water finishing fast. So I adjust everything and I recognize that the reason why the hot water was finishing fast is because the washing machine cool line was clogged. So I'll give you all that piece of information, the cool line of the washing machine was clogged so when they put on the washing machine it's it, and it went on mix which is hot and cold the washing machine took out all the hot water and well it have to wait to charge and by the time they look in the bay they have no water so i still um put a little extra heat in the heater and i repair the washing machine for them Understand? So this is what we have. We have a Klein tools. Um, this is one of the brands, the known brands to some, and of course some would know about it. But I wouldn't call the other brands they may know about. Right. So we're speaking about this one here. So this is an IR10, and it have a number here which is tw twenty to one. So you might want to know what is 20 to 1. You may say maybe it's 20 features with one tool. And that's not right. The 20 to 1 is the distance away using this piece of equipment. Um, it have a laser. And sometimes when the laser strikes, you'll see the laser with a little spot right here. So you see the laser, one little spot here. And you're thinking that this piece of equipment reading that spot that is not true 
Yeah, actually, I have to bring the piece of equipment straight up, the tool straight up, in order to read that spot where you see the laser. But the further back you go, 20 inches is 1 inch. So it's 20 to 1. So if it is you go 20 feet away and you shine the laser on a spot, so 20 to 1. So 20 feet to 1 will be 1 foot. So if you're 20 feet away and you're shining maybe that AC unit or a pump or something, it will be uh, a width of one foot. Yeah, you're actually reading. So you will get an actual reading. So say you want to read... Um, let me see if I get something here. Hold on, hold on. What I have closed by? Uh, and I think goes right away. I will get to you just now. Right, I'm back. So say you want to read this cap, but it's on a, a, um, a surface that you want to read. This cap, small as this here, and you go 20 feet away, and you, sh you shoot the, the, the laser. The laser pointing at this point right here. What you actually get in is a reading of all this area here. So you won't get an accurate reading unless you come straight up to it and point it close as possible onto it. Now 20 inches understand away, you will get one inch. So it will be wide as this because this is about one the, the width. So if you take 20 inches away, you'll get it. Now they have some way you will see um, 10 to 1. That means 10 inches away, it will be 1. So if you go 20, listen to it, eh? if you go 20 feet away, it will, the span will actually be 2 feet. Because every 10 is 1. So if you go 20, I ain't going through that. That is your maths. Understand? That is math. So this is the, the laser here. What it also have is two lasers instead of one laser. So you could, the laser now will help you to know when you go back, how far back, they will actually show you the width of the area. So it assists. Instead of having one laser, you're having two lasers. So as you're going further back, it opens out, open out, open out. So it gives you a reading. Uh, so you know the area that you're covering that you're reading. So if you know that it's not within, well, it's not that full area you want to um, test, you know, of course, you'll be getting uh, incorrect reading. Understand? So, <clears throat> what again I, I, I can tell you about? I know that you're running with a 9 volt battery, and they say you can get, I think, um, 10 hours of full running time. So, full running time, 10 hours, meaning it on for 10 hours straight, your battery dead by the end of the day. Now, when you're using this, you won't be doing that. You will be putting it on, taking it off. Putting it on, taking so sometimes it's just a couple minutes and not hours. So the battery is supposed to last here yeah, a period of time. Now I want to get into it, so I want to open it because I have other stuff. But before we get into it, I'm showing you here where I don't know if you could see it, but I will tell you what it is. This is the temperature reading. So minus 40 degree Fahrenheit up to 1200 degree Fahrenheit and if you're talking about Celsius is minus 40 Celsius um, to 650 Celsius in a sense that Fahrenheit and Celsius so, and so both of them going down to 40 and of course um, one they both go into the same temperature if you understand but Fahrenheit and Celsius is a different reading, a different number, a different figure, but it's the same heat. Right. So um, I think that is what I could tell you about it. Um, it's a dual laser. So let's get into the opening, actual opening. So we have the trusty scissors. So we're going to, we don't want to cut cut the um, the booklet so we're gonna take the time right. 
このさドネパシャを噴水の、まあ、ねえアドアドニですよしデスティナーでまたならプレゼンポーズはいいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいいぞいい It has some sort of、um, resistant to water. So, I don't know what this is. No, there's some. There's some. Right. Ooh, good quick. <laughs> so, it also h a v e this other tester. This other probe that you could plug into it. So, there's what it is. There's a probe. A thermometer probe. So, you could plug this into. Into the unit on top here, which is the opening here, plug in this. Maybe I, and I could take this and put it like in a cup of water or something. Or a turkey, piece of ham, whatever, maybe. <laughs>、um, I don't know if this will read the temperature of your body because I don't think it takes internal temperatures, it will just take surface、um, temperatures. Now, you still didn't have a trigger. It don't mean that the trigger is going to pull. Like if it's a gun, like a water gun, it's just, it's just a switch. So it's just that, as, as easy as that. That's all you're getting. It's not moving anyway. It's like a millimeter or two. You're just going right there. So, right. So, have a nice little screen. There are different modes. Different settings and have up and down. Now, I haven't used it, so I don't know. I use an,、uh, another one that we have and I decide to upgrade with, 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 with this one, you know. Now, there's also a screw hole here. So, like you see, those camera stands that they have, those tripods, you can screw this onto a tripod and just have it stand up in the direction that you want it, and you can do. Do the reading. So, the next thing is also have an area for a strap, which I think maybe we got the strap with this, hopefully. This here is the pouch for it, the holder. I'm gonna find this up like a. Hold on. I'm g o n n a insert it.、Eh? Alright, but checking it and I ain't seen no strap. I don't understand that. No, I don't、really、like us. But, you have a holder, we can put through your, your belt. And you hold i n g the, the piece of equipment, so you know you put this inside.、Uh, I think it's like, yeah, like this, nice, like that. You strap it up on, on your waist, and you're you walking, you know. Come on, you say, somebody tell you to have a heater, you say, eh, eh. Kazam! Kazam! Right, and that is the day. So, as I say, it works with a 9 volt battery. And it's a pretty, pretty、um, good tool to have. Yeah, good tool to have. It's, it's, it's very light. I think the only w e i g h t it will get is when it gets this、um, battery in it. So I don't know how to open this. I don't know if it's a screw or something. So let me just pause and I will find out what's going on here. Alright, so I went for my trusty screwdriver. Remove this. Um, because, of course,、um, this will show you, you know, the, what you get inside it and other little stuff. When you purchase yours, well, it, it will work for you. Inside, you will have a little booklet that 99.999%、um, of the time I don't really look at. I like to dig up and Solve the problems, solve issues, and I find the using the, the book for like these stuff, simple stuff, kind of will limit your thinking. So when I end up in problems, then I will、um, 
Kuchi the box and whatever. No, it's according to what piece of equipment you're using at. The number one thing is always to read first, find out about the tool, and then after you go through. Now, I just like to test and dig up in, as some people may see. So, this in the booklet will show you the different distance as you go back, what it is it's going to be reading, um, how much it may be off by, because it's don't it don't read 100% ac accurate. Um, you may be off by a point something or one point something, but um, with the job that I do, um, I don't need I don't need it to be exact. It's just to tell me, hey, this thing hot, or this thing not hotting, or it cold, or something like that. Now they have something called the thermal imaging camera, which is a next a next um, piece of equipment where you will actually see a picture and then you will see you can according to how you set it you can see different shades and colors and other stuff well in a time i'll do a video with that but for now this is what i'm doing the video with see i don't know how you hear in the audio but i know i have a lot of issues with the audio on this phone that why i haven't been doing much videos with it because it's kind of depressing after I do a video and the person um, commenting and saying they're not hearing me. So I hope so you all can hear what it is I'm saying. So I'm trying my best. I'm not um, going to buy a phone anytime soon. So I'm going to work with this until a good time comes where I can purchase a phone. Some, pe some people say some sort of app inside the phone that causing the volume to be low, but I. I'm not too much of a tech guy when coming to phones. Alright, so this is what we have here. I got my nice little screwdriver because I tried some others and it was total failure. So this one here, the angle of the screw is downwards. I was pushing in this direction because of how it's shaped and that was failure too. So get this out here and bam, voila, that is it there. That is it there. This is how the battery is. So peel off. Man, this is not falling. Oh, that's screw. I want to know if part of the thing don't fall apart already. I know we don't get on. Alright, so there's your battery. Pull off the protection. There's the protection so you don't arc off or ground off inside. And you connect it. Um, positive to positive, negative to negative. Lovely. And the power drive here. Oh, hold on. There. I want that to screw on that. Alright, the wires are kind of flimsy. So you don't want to do nothing you're supposed to do. Alright, it's a plug in. Woo! And you take your time and fish in the wires. And you try and fit it in there, so nice it fit in. And you take this here and you put it back in place. Somehow, right? It clips in. Something like that. Oh, that's how it's supposed to go. Take my time. We have a clip on top. So I clip it inside there. And you clip down. If you push it inside there, you clip down. Right, then look in. Awesome. I'm gonna try it again. Make sure everything machine looks looking like everything. In. Well, you have to remember this is not one of the biggest brands out. So we put that there, put in the screw. <coughs> Take your screwdriver and your screw it in. Take your screwdriver and your screw it in. Screw it in, screw it in. Alright, then make sure it's tight. And, well, I don't even know how yeah. we Let's press it. Whoa! And that was it. Once you press it, it turns on. I think it's on Fahrenheit right now, so whatever I read just now there was um, 86. I don't know if you can see it. I have a nice blue screen and it have a timer to, to, um, to come off after a period of time now. It's made of a 
Uh, the plastic looks durable. Yeah, looking like it could take some fall, but it's not no nice soft plastic. You know, some areas will be soft or cushion. No, it's nothing like that. See how it is, but it's good. You just have to keep your hand clean because it's looking like it's um, porous and it could get a lot of um, stuff inside. So, you yeah, just face it at something and read. And it holds. So, it's 36. Now, they have other um, stuff to the bottom that I have to get into to find out what those stuff stuff I'm um, reading. But we're looking at 36. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get two glasses, one with cold water and one with hot water, and we'll work from there. Right, and voila. So, right now we have two glasses. Well, they're not actually glasses, they're um, plastic cups and bowls. Well, this is what you're gonna get. Now, this is not a professional set with all kind of nice fancy stuff as the others have. So, see table shakes, dogs, dog walking around the house, and other stuff. So, we really based on this here. So, this is the, the temperature reader. So, this one is hot and this one is cool. So let's read and see what we get it on the hot side. Wow. So we read there and it holds. So we have a, see, you can see there, we have a 166 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's 166 degrees Fahrenheit. That's very hot. You understand? That's hot where it could burn. And then now we have this cool one here. So we're gonna face the laser at it. Again, shoot the laser, see the laser? And we have it cool. And the cool is 48 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, so one is 166 and the cool is 48. So we actually see where it's actually reading and the table reading between both of them, which is 86. So we're looking at 86 for the table, 48 for the cold water, and of course the hot water is 166 degrees. Now we could change it from, from um, Fahrenheit to degrees, degrees to Fahrenheit, and you have other adjustments in it. Um, a thing about it is that um, these reader works with an infrared sensor. So if you have like a rough surface, a painted surface, it will read much better. But if you have some like chrome or glass reflecting, anything that reflecting stuff off of, it wouldn't read correctly. So you could you will read with this, say, on something chrome, and it will read properly, and if you touch it, you can get burned. That, that is how it is. So, it it has its um, downfall sometimes, but for what I'm working with, is mostly for hot water, or hot water heater, AC, AC units, understand? Checking to see how the AC units are um, working. Now, if it is you want a more precise uh, measurement, um, they say this part will work much better. So just we we'll read this here, and we re read whether it's cooling, it's cooling. You no know, one, yeah, one fifty-eight. Let me read inside. Yeah, yeah, one fifty-five. Let's see what how how this working because you have to know this working too. And you're gonna buy it for this too. So you're probably in these two jacks into here. Um, I wonder if I get it right. Turn it around the next way. Right? So you have a direction. And I take this end now and I put it in the hot water. You see? You see how much it's reading? 162. 162. As it come out, it goes down. So watch it again. We now read it when we shoot the laser. We got 155. Or if we use this, 
in 161, 162, around that here. You see? You cool it off. You put it in the, in, in the cool after. You see, I put it on my hand, put it in the cool. And we gain 51. Scanning 50, 51 in the cool. And if I shoot it with the laser, we gain 60, 65. No, hold on, take off this. Right, 51. So we are seeing the, the boat lasers. Boat laser, the further you go, the wider you get. Closer you get, like the one inch. With 20 inches, gain the one inch space. If you go closer, further away, further you go. See how wider you're getting? Then why don't know if you can see it? Further you go, wider. So you have an average of the area that you're using it. So this is going to work pretty good. Just as the others, um, um, glad to show you that um, plumbers don't only work with, um, with pipe wrench and hammer and chisel and plunger. We also have some little tech toys. And we're looking to improve the plumbing um, association. Understand? We other plumbers get involved in using the technology that it have worldwide that they already been using for for years. So we need to open ourselves to what it have out there, research and you know, um study study what what it is you're going to what, what field you're, you're looking to get into and buy the proper tools and yeah look good and do the work correct so this is nj plumbing tech over and out peace